What's going on, YouTube? You already know who it is. It's your boy, once again, on tour. Kids coming back at you with another one. And today, we are set to talk about the Air Force One Tiffany & Co. 1837 sneaker drop. Now, $400 for this shoe. Is this shoe worth it? I don't know. You guys tell me, man, in the comments below and let me know what you guys think. Yes, it is a Tiffany and Co. collab, right? Which is which is great. Everybody knows Tiffany, right? The jeweler. Um, hey, big name, big brand. But is $400 for this Air Force One collab worth it? In my opinion, I'm not an Air Force One guy. So I understand for, you know, it's really big on the East Coast. It's really big uh, and a lot of other, you know, states and areas but i'm just not an air force one guy i don't think i own one pair of air force ones out of the variety of shoes that i have inside this room so for me it, it, for me i like it i'm not gonna lie i like the shoe i just don't think i'm gonna pay 400 dollars to go after this shoe uh but the resale on it is crazy they're already reselling for over a thousand bucks easy right so if you do get the shoe and you decide to wear it once or twice uh, because i don't see this as an everyday shoe i do see this as a shoe that you'll have in your collection and then you may rock it during like a a, a birthday event some type of valentine's day anniversary some type of special occasion or maybe you just want to go to an event and stunt i don't know but i do not see this as an everyday shoe um which I, I don't know. I just don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just got my mind on other things and I see this as a dope shoe. Maybe if you have a significant other, right? Uh, I think this shoe will look hot on, you know, your female friend or, or you know, or whatever the case may be uh, for whatever your preference is out there. I think this shoe will look hot on maybe a smaller foot person. Um, people with bigger feet, you know, like myself and, you know, some of the other fellas up there because this shoe goes up to, I want to say a size 14, 15. I want to say probably 15. So that's a pretty big foot, man, on a size 15 shoe for a guy. I just don't think this shoe is going to look good on a person uh, with a foot that size. Other than that, though, the quality on it is great. Uh, has the low, you know, has the, you know, your typical leather. On the bottom, it has the AirPods in that Tiffany blue. Uh, your swoosh, of course, is Tiffany blue, but that suede on it, man, it has that leather suede on it. It's a, it's nice. It's a nice leather suede on it. Kind of has that stroke motion if you rub your hands over it. Um, but the shoe will get, you know, will pick up dust and dirt pretty fast, man. So you want to be careful on where you're wearing your shoes and what you're wearing your shoes around. Um, also, it does have the Tiffany logo on the tongue um, and then on the back of the heel, you have that stainless steel, um, you know, symbol on the back that's kind of like the highlight of the shoe. Um, and then on in the inside, you have the leather, I guess, leather insoles. And then it's the baby blue or the Tiffany blue uh, with the, I guess, the silver Nike text on the inside of that. Now, the difference is between this shoe and your regular Air Force One on that inside. That inside on the regular Air Force Ones is more of a mesh material. Inside this Tiffany shoe, you're gonna get an all leather material in there. So your sizing may fit a little different because of that, um, but they're trying to give you that more luxury style, which I don't I don't knock them for that. I think that's a great idea with this being uh, that fantastic collab, um, you know, Nike and Tiffany Co. brand that they're putting together. I think it's awesome. So you guys comment below, man. Let me know what you guys think about this uh, Tiffany & Co. Nike Air Force One collab, man. It's just hard to see that. But this ain't the first time that they... This is the first... Let me take that back. This is the first true collab for them two together. There have been other shoes uh, when they used that Tiffany name, but it wasn't the, actually the brand. They used the Tiffany, I guess, colorway, the blues. Like, they had the Dunks. Uh, I think they had the Dunk Lows and they had some Dunk Highs. But this Air Force One is the first time that they actually collab the brands together. Um, and it's to be said that the reason behind this is because of the 40th anniversary of the Nike Air Force One. So 
hey, it's kind of history in the making right there. So um, great job to them for putting together this uh, collab. The packaging on the shoe is nice. Um, it comes in that Tiffany blue box, right? And then if you pop the top on it, underneath it, it says Tiffany written out in cursive text. And then it has that tissue paper in there. And once you open that tissue paper up, it has all the different marketing over the years from Tiffany and Nike collaborations um, throughout the years of existence of, through Tiffany and Co. So I think that's a pretty cool uh, marketing feature too to have on your packaging. I mean, and why not? And then it comes with three additional pairs of laces, right? So I think you have a yellow pair, you have a white pair, and you have your baby blue pair, your Tiffany blue pair. Um, that comes with it along with your standard black laces that come inside the Air Force One. Now, the difference between the laces that come in the Air Force One and then your standard Air Force One laces is this rope in the Tiffany uh, and Co. Air Force One is a black rope lace, which looks damn good on the shoe, I must say, man. So um, if you guys have not noticed that feature in the shoe, like that difference in the lacing, that is there, that rope lacing um it's pretty dope i like how they did that man i wish they would have did um the rest of the laces like that but the other laces are are regular just regular different color standard air force one laces um so that's another another upscale and the difference they did between this air force one versus the other all right so hey if you guys are going for it man comment below let me know what you guys think you know if it's going to be a gift for somebody comment below man let me know what you guys think about the shoe overall I'm not going to knock the shoe. I'm not going to knock the shoe at all. I think the shoe is clean, man. I think it's a dope shoe. For me, it's just not a shoe that I'm going to um, go for at this time, man. But I know, man, whoever gets blessed with this shoe, man, hey, congratulations to you. So if you go for it and you hit, man, comment below and let me know, man, because I salute you uh, for getting this shoe. Uh, maybe if I would spend so much money on... The shoes that I've already gotten, maybe it probably would have been a shoe I probably would have would have went after. But right now, man, I, it's just not a shoe um, that I, it's a, it's not a must have for me in my collection at this time. Um, but hey, it's gonna be a very difficult shoe to get, man, for the ones that are going after this shoe because you got a lot of things going against you uh, in this because of the hype around this shoe because of the collab behind this shoe, man. You're going to have bots. You're going to have resellers going crazy. You're going to have people backdooring these shoes or whatever, wherever vendors they're releasing that, man. So um, be on your be on your P's and Q's, man, when you're going after this 1837 Air Force One Tiffany & Co. Now, just to give you guys a little details behind this shoe, um, just want to read this to you guys real quick. From, from New York to the world, timeless perfection looks good anywhere. From 57th to 125th Street and beyond, Tiffany & Co. is an iconic New York brand. The beloved Air Force One silhouette, its triple black colorway, was shaped by its time in New York. Crafted with elevated touches like premium leather and finished with luxury detailing like the Sterling Severn piece on the back of the heel, the Air Force One and Tiffany & Co. collab 1837 brings you the instantly recognizable elegance and sophistication. This resulting in the collaboration represents New York within itself and the bridge between basketball and street style that made Air Force One crossover iconic today. Now, how they hooped in these shoes back in the day, I have no idea. Whoever hoops in these shoes today, God bless you. <laughs> because this shoe is not uh, a shoe that I would hoop in ever, you know, like, I just couldn't do it. So for people that hoop in these shoes, man, I have hooped in these shoes. Hey, great. Do not hoop in the Tiffany and Co. collaboration if you get them. That is crazy. That is bananas. So don't do that. Um, but, hey, man, just wanted to give you guys that little details of the shoe. Set the drop today. Go out and get it. To all my uh, squad out there, man. Thank you guys for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel for my new people, please hit that subscribe button, man. We are trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. 1,000 subscribers, man. Help your boy out. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. All right? It's your boy, On Tour Kicks. Coming back into with another one. Peace. I said I'm
start no shit, won't be no shit. My nigga yeah. put that plug, yeah. I'ma hit that yeah. lick. Double cup in my blunt, yeah I'm lit, lit, lit. Straight the fork, get the pot, yeah I whip, whip, whip. I got fam, run a scam, Bella bitch, run the scan. You a man, I'm a friend, you make plans, I just jam, uh. I let off a missile, now your mama miss you. Hey, you catch your issue, haters catch a tissue. Fist for 11 dollars, change up on your feet. Look up in the mirror, all I see is G. Looking out for the mouth, best stay on my B's and Q's. Dotting all of my eyes, make sure they're red, I stay on you. Uh, big step, I'm stomping at you, hate it's like a cue. Uh, big faces, I'm holding my breath till my bitch is blue. Uh. Yeah. Yeah.